Boys, girls, cats, and squirrels, what is going on? My name is Lightly Salt, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke here on the channel. How are y'all doing? Hope y'all are doing fantastic on this amazing day, whatever day this is going up. But, uh, yeah, let's get into a team recap, because we're in a different spot, and I also did a bit of grinding. So, for those wondering why I did grinding and there's no grinding montage, well, it's because I had to do grinding at a lot of different times due to, due to time constraints i couldn't just sit down and record it all at once and do it all at once because it took me actually like an hour and a half to do and again i was also doing other stuff at the same time so that didn't help but yeah here is our team and i'll get into why we're in a different location after this but yeah our team is we've got loafed the shell gone Bagon evolved, he no longer has Trunt, now he's got the Shield Dust ability, holding that Lucky Egg with Outrage, Bite, Ember, and Headbutt. Yes, we did teach him the TM for Outrage, because I did not want to wait till like level 62, I think, for him to learn Outrage. Was not a fan of that. Then we've got Torched the Flareon with the Cloud9 ability. No item with Ember, Bite, Quick Attack, and Rock Smash. Yes, I taught him Rock Smash. Um, I think I did that in the grinding montage. I taught him Rock Smash. I just did not want to go all the way back to get a Pokemon that knew Rock Smash. So I just taught him it. Because it's Flareon, and Flareon doesn't really learn that many great moves. So I was like, screw it. Slap it on here. Hopefully it doesn't bite us in the butt. Then we've got Smash the Mewtwo with the White Smoke ability. Rock and Confusion, Disable, Barrier, and Swift. Nothing new there. Then we've got Slack the Vigoroth with the Keen Eye ability. Rock and Try, Attack, Yawn, Furious Wipes, and Encore. Nothing new there. Then we've got Rattle the Gyarados with the Synchronize ability. With Bite, Dragon Range, Hydro Pump, and Tackle. I cannot remember if I taught him Hydro Pump in the last episode or during the grinding montage. But either way, that is the team. All we have next is an egg. Now, why are we in a different location? Well, during my grinding montage, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go into the sand area, the desert area, to grind up the team. While in the sand area, desert area, whatever you want to call it, I ended up coming across Mirage Tower. Mirage Tower, technically a new encounter. So I picked up a new encounter. I completely forgot what I got, but we'll go back to the PC to figure out what we caught after this. Then also, if you make it through Mirage Tower and get to the top, which this was my very first time actually getting to the top... Um, I never tried before. <laughs> uh, you can get a fossil. So we picked up a fossil. I think we picked up the claw fossil. And now we are here in Rustboro City getting ready to restore it. Because this guy right here restores fossils. And yeah, I think this is the only fossil we have. We didn't end up picking one up. But yeah, it was the claw fossil. Now we have to leave and come back in in order for him to do anything. And let's see what we're going to grab from this fossil. All right, what is it? No way. This guy got us a Jirachi. Oh my god, we need a name. We need a name. We need a name. Um. Oh my god. Am I ending everything with Edie and Edie or Eyes? Oh my god, I forget. I forget if everything's supposed to... I, I think everything's supposed to end in I, right? That's what we're doing now? I need to pull up the last episode and check this out. I We literally... Oh no, it's smashed... It's not smashy, it is smashed. So everything ending in E D. What are we naming this Jirachi? He is the Wish Pokemon. Should we just name him Wished? I like Wished. Genied. Slightly rubbed. Because you have to rub the lamp to get the genie out. I like I like kinda like that. Let's go with slightly rubbed. Or slightly lucked. Because he's lucky. No, I'm just going to go with slightly rubbed. <laughs> it's kind of... It's weird. It's funny. I like it. Hopefully you guys like it too. Slightly rubbed. Let's go to the box and pick this guy up. I want him... I think I might have to dispose... Dispose the egg and pick this guy up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. By the way, if my commentary is a bit off, it's been a while since I've actually last recorded. It's been like a week and a half or maybe even two weeks since I last recorded. Um, and it's been like four days since I've grinded last. So that's why like I don't really remember. Oh yeah, Typhlosion! That's what we ended up getting in Mirage Tower, right? 
It's gonna say, where does it say where we got it? Yeah, met at Mirage Tower, met at Ross Bro. Route 11, 111. Insomnia. What does this guy have? He has Arena Trap. Ooh, I remember that because I tried switching out with my bag on. Yeah. And you've got. No way, he already has Psychic. Psychic Swift, Helping Hand, and Rest. I want him. Move. Oh, my dog's barking. We already have one Psychic type, but I think having Jirachi on the squad could be so cool. And I'm back. I don't know if you guys heard. I don't know if it was actually in the audio clip, but my doorbell rang. I had to leave, go check the door, see what was going on there. But yeah, it was nothing. It was just a package that got delivered for my father. But yeah, I really want Jirachi on the squad. It would give us another legend. But at the same time, that gives us two psychic types. But it's a Jirachi. Is it, is it worth 50? I find it to be worth it's worth more than an egg i don't think the egg's gonna happen and it's been so long and it went through that entire grinding montage and i don't even think it's close it's about to hatch i don't even it, desperate times maybe but now this guy's interesting me you may have to be a part of the next grinding montage maybe If we ever lose Flareon, this guy's for sure joining the squad, but I think I might even replace Flareon with him later. Mm. But yeah, alright, what are we doing right now? Oh yes, we are heading down. It's actually good that we're here, because we are going to um, Petalburg City, Town's Gym. Do I have Super Potions? Yes, I do. And I also have a Repel. That's good, that's good. Alright. Let's head down this way. I don't... I think everybody's already battled, right? I already battled all of you. Da, da, da. And we just hop on down. Yeah. And soon we're going to be getting Surf for our Gyarados, which is going to be awesome. Um, Gyarados having Surf is going to give him a nice, powerful Water-type attack that is 100% accurate. Rather than only, like... 80 or 85 with uh, Hydro Pump. But yeah, let's see what levels. I completely forget what level this gym is going to be. So let's battle the trainers, get a rough estimate of how high of a level this gym is going to be. Because I'm not quite too sure. All right, what do we got? We got a plus level 26. All right, so his highest level is probably going to be like a 32-ish. And we're at 30, so we're at a decent level to take him on. He's not going to have anything super effective, so I'm not worried. Unless he unless he just bounces out Hidden Power Ice or something. We are Gucci. 1,000 EXP on the dot. But yeah, how's everybody doing today on this fine evening? It's already 8 minutes into the video. Actually, I had to go answer the door, so maybe like 7 minutes? Hmm. But yeah. <clears throat> Jesus, sorry about that. I don't actually know how many trainers I'm going to battle. I don't know if I'm going to battle them all or only a couple. Depends on how these levels get. But they're still only at 26. So I might just take them on. Oh, don't hit yourself. Thank you. That did not do as much as I thought it would. This is not good. He used a hyper potion. Thank God. I was I got real worried there. Um, but, uh, you come on in here, Rubbed. Let's train up Rubbed. We should toss Rubbed in the front. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll battle all the trainers, but with Rubbed to get him that EXP. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit. Oh, I got to turn battle animations back on. I turned them off during the grinding. What's with the crits? Calm down. I swear to God, if this guy gets another crit or flinch, do not flinch me. Do not flinch me. Do not hit yourself. Thank you. 
dead. Ooh. Not a fan of this guy. Alright. Let's toss rubbed in front and get him that uh lucky egg on him. Switch item take Oh nope. Item give all the way down. There we are. Alright, now I'm gonna back out there, go over here, battle this guy. Confusion room. Well the last guy was quite annoying with the confusion, so how about no? Alright, let's see. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? We need a question of the day. I gotta think of a question of the day. I haven't had to think of a question of the day in like two weeks. What is my question of the day gonna be? Duh, I'm not sure. I know I had a little bit of a drum roll there, but I do not know. I do not have anything on top of my mind right now for a nice question of the day. What is going on with my life that I could do for question of the day? Homework, school, coaching. Yeah, I'm coaching hockey. That's new. I don't think that was even happening last time I recorded. And it, that means it's been a while since last time I recorded. Yeah, I am going to be coaching one of my little brothers in hockey. So just great, even more stuff for me to do. But it's all good. I think I've got it covered. School's annoying. Very annoying. That's another thing that's going on. Tests are just biting me in the butt. I had midterms. That's why, like, I'm supposed to have... Today's Monday as of... Today is Monday as of me recording this. And I'm supposed to have a video going up, but I don't even have it edited yet. Because school and midterms and essays and just so much more... So, there might not be a video up today. Maybe it'll go up tomorrow. And, yeah, because I'm probably only going to get to edit it later tonight. So, there might not be a video up today, Monday. But there will definitely be one up tomorrow. Yeah, if it's not up today, it'll be up tomorrow. And, yeah. Where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, the reason I'm recording this rather than editing a video is because nobody's home right now except for one of my little brothers not the little brother i'm going to be coaching but one of my little brothers is home because it is election day here in canada so um he's home because he has no school and i'm home because i'm home well because i want to go vote I'm home because I went to go vote, and then like after I voted, I'm like, okay, there's not really much point to going to school, because the only class that really mattered today is what the one I missed to go vote. Oh, much shot. Has he been using much? That's what he's been using the entire time. I'm not paying attention. I didn't even turn battle animations back on. Okay. Let's bring in Smashed here to end him off. And then heal Jirachi. And pay attention. Yo, Smash doesn't even have Psychic yet. And Jirachi does. Wow. I know Smash used to start with Psychic. Back in the day. Back in the day, that used to be his starting move. In like, Gen 1. That was hilarious. The fact that he would start off with Psychic. So if you got him as your starter... In a randomizer, it would just be freezing through the game. But yeah. Okay, what was I talking about? Yeah, so the only class that mattered, I ended up missing to vote. So I ended up just not going. So I'm like, eh, I'll come home. I'll do some homework. Haven't done that yet, but I'm going to be. <clears throat> and then later, I'll go to my girlfriend's. And yeah. Wow, I thought that would Oko. I know we're five levels lower. It's still... He got a crit pursuit and that did not a thing. Take that him on top. I think that's enough trainers. I think we're just gonna go battle the leader now. Um, I am gonna switch rubbed probably out of the front of the party though. I don't think I want him. Mm, do I? You know what? I'll leave him in front. I'll leave him in front. It's fine. It's not like we're gonna run into Shadow Tag or Arena Trap or anything. Dot dot dot. Two minutes later. <laughs> Could you imagine? 
I'm not actually gonna cut anything there, but yeah. Like, if I actually do a jump cut, because where it's about to happen, so there's no point jump forwarding and then jumping forward and then just jumping back to this moment right here. Star you. Height. You're high level. Height. Swift. Camouflaged. Height. Oh, that's stab now. That does nothing though, because I am steel. I forgot about that. Camouflage again. It failed. Ha. Huh. Yay. I use that hyper potion. Use all your hyper potions on the star you please, in case you have something with like incredible power. Use all of them right here. Let's go. Hey, fifth gym, eh? This is the fifth gym. We're gonna take them on. We're gonna win right here. Get the crit. Get the crit. Oh, no crit. I get. He only has one hyper potion, I guess? I forgot to turn battle animations back on again. Jeez. Charmander. Yeah, we're gonna pull a hard swap here into Rattled. I'm not dealing with that. Mm -mm, not today, not today. Be your ace. Only level 29. That's not your ace. Which Charmander? I kept thinking Charmeleon. You're gone. Get out of here, Charmander. What do you think you are? A half-decent lizard? We might be a little overleveled for this gym battle, but that's okay. Porygon 2. Um, no. I'll leave Rattled, I'll leave Rattled in here. Level 27. Wow, I thought they would be a lot higher leveled. I thought they were like 30s. 30s was his lowest. Or 29 was his lowest. And his highest was like 34. 32 or something. That's what I thought before I ever entered the gym. And tackle to end it. He had another hyper potion. Okay. Either way, this tackle is going to do a bit of damage, right? There you go. And now two dragon rages will do the trick. I want some G fuel. I'm thirsty. I got that twisty candy, twisted candy G Fuel going on right now. That's what we should name someone. We should name someone Twisted. That's a, that's a name right there. Well, we've got encounters coming up soon, so that's big. Sharpedo. I don't really have anything. It's going to select, I guess. I need a solid electric type. That's what I need. I need to get a solid electric type on the team. This is going to be his ace, level 31. So I did get the 31 part right, but it's his ace, not his weakest level. Or not his mid-range levels. Ah, twisted candy. What a joy. Just picked up two new things, G Fuel 2. I got that strawberry banana G Fuel. And I've also got that snow cone. Great flavors. Not gonna lie though, strawberry banana, not the greatest aftertaste. I find it has an aftertaste. Ooh, crunched it a lot. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. I just find strawberry banana has a weird aftertaste in my opinion. Um, if he gets a crit, we're gone. Rattled has more HP. Let's go into him. Hopefully he has better defense too. Uh, yeah, it has a weird aftertaste in my opinion, unless you put it with milk. In water, weird aftertaste. With milk, delicious. Absolutely love that flavor in some milk. Uh, but I've had it so much, like, in the past. Like, I got it. I got strawberry banana G Fuel. When did I get it? I got it last Thursday. Nope, I got it last Tuesday. Got last Tuesday, the day Fortnite came back online. That's something we talk about. That's going to be something we talk about. Let me know. Question of the day. Even though this is not Pokemon related and we're going to be a Pokemon channel most likely. Let me know what your favorite. Uh, no, let me know what you think about Fortnite Chapter 2. Um, if you don't like Fortnite, I'm really sorry. I might talk about it a little here. But um, I suck at Fortnite. I always wasn't. Ooh, Crab Hammer. Not a bad move right there. But Fortnite, I'm not the greatest at Fortnite. I am getting better. I'm not the 
absolute worst at Fortnite, I don't think. My building sucks. Uh, I would say I build like a seven-year-old, but seven-year-olds, frick, they're amazing. Seven-year-olds are great at building for some reason. The younger generation is just so good at building in Fortnite, probably because they have nothing else to do. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm a big fan of Fortnite Chapter 2. Uh, it has a lot of open area. Like, I just find it's very open, like, like Fortnite was at the beginning, too, and it like Fortnite Chapter 2, they're like, all right, new time, new story. Let's go back on everything we fix. <laughs> There's a lot of issues at the beginning of Fortnite Chapter 2. Um, but you know what? It's still a great game. And we are going to teach Gyarados Surf now. Because I know he gives us Surf. Yeah, there it is. But um, Fortnite Chapter 2, I'm a big fan of. It's just... All in all, it's a great game. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I've even gotten quite a few dubs recently. And, um... Yeah. Big fan. Uh, let's go over here. There's an item down here, right? I think there's an item up right, up left. I found a person berry. Nice. But, like, I'm not grinding Fortnite every day, but, like, every second day I'm on the grind for Fortnite. Like, level... I'm level 18 right now, so, yeah, you could see not really that big of a thing. I'm also a big fan of their new leveling up system. I find them con coming to, like, just rather than a rank system... A rank? Like, a t rather than a tier system, going with a level system, I find that's really smart, really cool, um... Just a really great idea because now they could add stuff like they did this weekend, the double XP weekend. Now they could add that stuff to get the hype up for a weekend. But um, yeah, it was just a great game. And oh, one of the reasons why I just love Fortnite right now is I love the marketing team. The fact that they, well, not even the marketing team, just the marketing, the development, just the entire team behind Fortnite. The fact that they shut down their game for three days to build the anticipation for Fortnite Chapter 2 was phenomenal it was a great business idea i'm really into business i want to go into business that's what i'm studying to do i'm studying um right now i'm just in college and college in canada no, not even college in canada college in quebec is really stupid i think i've talked about this before but yeah it's just really stupid and rather than grade 12 we have two years two and a half years of college it takes away one year of high school one year of university and puts it into there but the thing is kids spend on average two and a half years in sejep in college, stage up, whatever you want to call it. But some people spend three or four, like me. I'm on my fourth year because I messed up a little. And then I'm like, I took extra classes. And yeah, so I'm here. Fourth year. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to get it going. But yeah. And right now I'm studying to go into business because business is a passion of mine. The more you know about Slightly Salted. But yeah. So I was just like, my anticipation built for Fortnite just based off of that three and a half, uh, not that three, that three day um, period where they just shut down the game and all you saw was a black hole. That was such a smart marketing move and just such a good move overall. That's a cadaver. That would have been sick to have an Alakazam. But it's all good because we got a Mewtwo. So we still Gucci. We are still Gucci. I don't really use the word Gucci that much. Unless I'm being sarcastic. And I just used it. And it feels weird. So I used it. But yeah. But yeah. So Fortnite. I'm just having a lot of fun playing the game. Uh, I fell in love with their marketing tactics. Hey, it's Ponita. Galarian Ponita. That would be another psychic type. What a big fail. That's another thing. Did we talk about this in the last video? Did that even happen yet? The 24-hour live stream from the last video. Is that a thing? I got so pissed off when that was revealed to be a psychic type. The fact they only re revealed one Pokemon. In one Pokemon! Yeah, I know, technically. Technically, it was what's-his-name. Um, the Darkened Fairy guy. More Pico? No. That's the Pikachu clone. I forget his name, but you guys know what I mean. That little, like, dark elf fairy pixie type thing. Oh, yeah, we're in a trader battle. Uh, psychic. You know, I just probably could have gone for Swift. But that guy, 
Technically, it was his first official reveal reveal because all we've only seen him before in the demo. But yeah, but still, come on, mate. Yo, and Pokemon, calm down. Stop hyping Charizard, man. Not gonna lie, Gigantamax form. Ooh, it's beautiful. But Charizard, like, getting too much hype. He got a Mega. He got two Megas. Now a Gigantamax. What's next? Like, just calm yourselves, Game Freak. Let Charizard relax. Take him out of a game for all I care for now. Just let him relax. But Fat Pikachu, big fan of Fat Pikachu. That's a thing. Fat Pikachu looks sick. Uh, Meowth, the long, t long cat. Uh, I didn't find it needed. I understand why they needed it for the uh, anime. Like, it was needed for the anime. I gotta give them that. But it's just kind of like, really? Meowth? Who's gonna use the Meowth? I mean, I will once or twice just for the meme. Does Meowth? Like, it's, he's funny. Like, Pikachu and Meowth, their Gigantamax forms, I feel like, are just for memes. This Pikachu is literally Fat Pikachu again. And Meowth is just a long-ass cat. He looks exactly the same, but then they just took his body and, like, stretched it out. He looks like String Cheese. Meowth is String Cheese. Facts. Uh, but yeah. That's another thing you can let me know. Let me know what you think about uh, Galarian Ponyta and the five recently uh, outed Gigantamax forms. Um, they're not bad, but Game Freak has to stop showing priority to gen 1 like what's next is it next switch remake going to be another gen 1 remake rather than gen 4 which is supposed was supposed to be next in line like we we're supposed to get the gen 4 remake pokemon like celestial pearl and like shiny diamond i i don't know i i just remember hearing a lot of stuff about uh celestial pearl or is it celestial diamond oh it was celestial pearl and temporal diamond that people were like, quote unquote, fan names of the games, or fan games of it, and like that was supposed to be like the next remake. It should have been that, but then it's like, nah, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Gen one, Gen one, Gen one. We want Gen four, Gen one. Fan base, Gen four. Game Freak, Gen one. Gen four, Gen one, Gen four, Gen one. Enough with Gen one. I love Gen 1. Gen 1, great games. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. They were pretty fun games. For like a first time. I tried replaying it and it's just not as fun replaying it. I mean, it would be fun like challenge wise. But at the same time, like it's hard to do a Nuzlocke on it. Well, first off, it's already hard. You can't really randomize it. You can't randomize it without jailbreaking your Nintendo Switch. I only have one Nintendo Switch. I do not have the money for a second. I'm not game break. I'm not jailbreaking my Nintendo Switch. So if I did a... Uh, series on Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, it would be a regular playthrough. It would be vanilla, but just with like a Nuzlocke perspective. But how can you do a Nuzlocke when all the Pokemon are in their overworld? I've done one. I did one. Like, I all I did was just I didn't even close my eyes. I took a pair of 3D glasses that I jacked from the movie theater and I uh, put hockey tape around the eyelids so I can't see through them. And you know, it works. Why am I battling this guy? That's annoying. Uh, whatever. But, what was I going on about? Yeah, it's just hard to do the Nuzlocke variants on it. So yeah, I just did that. And like, for training purposes, like if I needed a grind, i just catch Pokemon. Uh, but like, I'd only be able to use the ones that like were my first encounter. And yeah. And for statics, like you can get like all the starters of statics. I just did not use statics. So I ended up not getting a starter, which sucked. I was sad about that. Also, one of the, if like, I doubt any of you are around for this. Was this even on this channel? Was it on? This might have been my other channel. I think it was Skeeks Gaming. I don't think it was Slightly Salted at the time. I think this was on my channel uh, called Skeeks Gaming. I don't think I wanted out that name. I might bleep those names. 
You know what? No, I won't. I really don't care. I don't even think the videos are still up. I used to have a channel called Skeeks Gaming where I would... Um... Actually, did I do Pokemon on there? I'm not even sure I did, so I might have just outed that name for nothing. But, like, I don't really care. The only reason I kind of cared was because it kind of outs my identity. But then I realized I don't really care if you guys know who I am. But, yeah. Oh, we can go do the new Malva, new Mawile thing. I think that's what we'll do. We'll go grab a couple items in new Mawile, new Mawile, and do that. Or old Mawile, whatever it's called. The generator area. We've got super repels, so we should be good, because I do not want many encounters. I want our first encounter, and that's it. Yeah, 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 give it to me. Give me the key for new Mawile. Generator, basement key. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yay. Um, let me come over here. But yeah, I don't really care about my identity, so if people end up finding out about that name, why should I care? I don't even know if the channel's still even up. I might have even taken it down. I don't really remember what I did before Slightly Salted that much. But I think on that channel, all I had was a filtage for Rainbow Six Siege. Yes, I made a fail Taj, and I kind of thought about bringing them back last time I played on Rainbow Six Siege. I'm like, maybe I should upload a fail Taj to Slightly Salted. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Maybe a fail Taj of Fortnite, if you guys want to see that. If there's any content you guys want to see that's even not Pokemon related, let me know. Ah, accidentally clicked the Windows key. There we go. Alright, what are we gonna grab? What are we gonna grab? What are we gonna grab? We are gonna grab a snow run. Uh do we have a Glalie though? I don't remember, so I'm gonna catch him. I think we almost had a snow run because I think in Mirage Tower Snow Run was my second encounter. So I'm gonna catch him. This guy could even be cool to add to the team. A nice type. I even have Blizzard. That's interesting. I don't know if we have a Glalie, though. Do we have a Glalie? I might have to check my Pokedex after this. Pokeballs. Pokeball. What was I talking about way before that? Oh, yeah. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. So, I don't know if I did it on this channel or my Skeeks Gaming channel. I cannot remember. Um, I did a Let's Go Pikachu and attempting to become a Pokemon channel. My first ever playthrough was going to be Let's Go Pikachu. Um, Let's Go Pikachu. Not a randomizer. It was a mono lock. It was electric type mono lock that I wanted to do. We need a name slightly chilled. Slightly chilled. All right. Let's double check the Pokedex just to be sure that we don't not uh, have this. I actually might have to wrap it up here and we're going to have to get through this next time because I have a tight recording period right now today because I still have to do homework. Where is this thing? New Chikorita, Hoot Hoot. Where is Glalie? Select search. Search. G H I type ice. Okay. No matching Pokemon were found. That makes no sense. Don't specify them. No run. Okay, so I did not have Glalie then. Now I understand why. But yeah, I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up here because I think it's directly at the 30 minute mark or the 31 minute mark. Next episode, we're going to get through this area and yeah, get to it. But yeah, so like I was saying, my last playthrough that I tried to do was Let's Go Pikachu, uh, Electric type, Mono Lock. But I got rid of it. So that's like stuff that I could do on Pokemon Let's Go. Pikachu or Eevee. Uh, like one thing I really want to do on LGP is a rival lock. 
I'd love to do a rival lock against someone because I think that could be kind of cool. Uh, so if you're one of those people that want to do a rival lock against me on LGPE, let me know. Then again, Sword and Shield's coming out soon, so I do not think I want to start an LGP series. And also, my girlfriend kind of has my Switch at the moment because she got into Let's Go Pokemon. Uh, that Pokemon Let's Go Eevee last night. While I was playing Fortnite, she played Pokemon, and she fell in love with it, so I offered her to take my Switch for now. But yeah, if any of you... But she will give it back to me because she loves me. And yeah, so she would give it back because it's mine. And she already felt bad taking it even to borrow to play Pokemon, but she also wanted to continue her Pokemon. So, yeah. But that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. Comment down below. Answer the question of the day is, what do you think about Fortnite Chapter 2? And what do you think about Galarian Ponyta and the fi five brand new Gigantamax Pokemon? Because I do not remember if Galarian Ponyta was before last episode or after it i can't remember it's been a while and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one stay salty